Hello and welcome back. Sorry, I had to go get another color. So I am going to pour a kind of 3D bloom and I am using this, I'm gonna call it a pizza slice mold that I have had for a long time. And I saw this design on Pinterest and I said, oh my gosh, I've got that mold, let me try this. So in here, I've put in some abalone shells in the corner, as you can see. I am pouring um, a layer of my clear resin and I'm using the Let's Resin one-to-one. -one. I wanted to kind of test to see what kind of results I can, <clears throat> what, what, <coughs> excuse me, what kind of results I can get with a kind of a 3D bloom. So as that settles in, I will show you what I've used. Now I've got to admit, I've only tried this like, this is my third time trying this. Um, I didn't like how my petals were shaping, so there you go. Okay, so in my, uh, oops, let me get my cup ready here. In my three piping bags, I've used um, just right titanium white with a little bit of this Liquitex cerulean blue hue. In one of the bags is the pure uh, Lutz resin marlin blue that I got from Laura's Art Corner. And then this is, this came, this chameleon powder came in a set of a Nick Bro in the box. And this one is the chameleon green golden blue. I thought that might be kind of interesting as a chameleon powder. So let me put these bottles away so that I can let my resin set before I start piping. so funny whenever I pour and I don't have a success I say oh this is the last time and then I keep trying it again so I see I need to fill this edge here let's see I didn't see that corner there so I'm gonna look from the bottom across to make sure my abalone shells are all underwater as I would as I would say. I'm gonna pop that bubble in a minute. I did let the resin sit. Okay, I think that's enough because I need room for my uh, piping. So let me pop those bubbles real quick. Oh, this tool gets all kind of bent after using it for a while. I've got a project there that's brewing and I'm kind of worried it's not looking like how it's supposed to, so oh well. Okay. So I think I'll start with the bright blue on the outside because I was doing it the other way the other times. So now where are my scissors? <clears throat> oh, here they are. Okay. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Then I've got an empty cup ready to put my piping bag upside down. And this is going to be a little bit messy in the sense that it's going to go over the lines here and now I'm all I'm doing is just following the sh and the corner shape of this mold or edge not corner
Okay, so that's my first blue, and I'm going to alternate, I think. I didn't do it last time, alternating, but I think I will this time. Then I'm going to do my mica powder one, or the chameleon powder one. Ooh, that is a pretty, pretty sparkly. I hope my head isn't in the way, but I can't move right now. Now I am doing the streams a little narrower than I normally do, only because I'm going to try to do several spirals. Mm, really skinny. Um, okay, I'll do thicker later. So then I now I'm going to do the white that's mixed with the little Liquitex blue. I'm gonna go back with the dark, oops, dark, oh, 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 my little thing is falling down. Okay, now I'm gonna go a little thicker. Well, maybe I don't need to, because that's spreading. Good for that one. Oops. <clears throat> now let me do this one. So my last piping spiral might interfere with the abalone shells, but that's okay. It's just art, right? thicker. <clears throat> okay. I wonder if I should thicken this one up just a little bit. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> now comes the white. So yes, I have to be concentrating when I do this because I've learned that I have to make sure the stream that's coming out of the piping bag is even. And I just sort of only realized this recently and said, you know, slow learner. Okay, <clears throat> now comes the fun part. I'm going to take my dotting tool, and let me think. I was going to do the edge here, but I won't today. I'm going to do, um, let me get a paper towel, I'm going to do an 
and I'm making sure I'm not scraping the bottom. by two. So I'm not going to put a top coat because this is a very thin um, mold that there's not much room and so there'll be some white space you know how sometimes you can camouflage your petals with a top coat. Okay. Now I'm going to go out on all of them. It's kind of pretty right there. I'm going to leave those, so leave that kind of like that as a like bookends. Now I did three there. How what happened there? Oh, okay, maybe here. Well maybe I will do well I did there so and I didn't do there. So I'll leave oh ooh, what should I do? Well, this one has room. Oh, I don't know what to do. If I do, maybe what I'll do is that went in, so I'm going to come out like this. That went in, so I'm going to come out with that. Yeah, like that. Okay, and this up, up, so then down. No, I'm going to do this. And I can't. I gotta have one there too. She'll see how that turns out. Oh wow, that looks really pretty. So too bad about here. Let's see what can I do. Maybe I'll put some of my mica powder one. No, I'm just gonna leave it so that you can appreciate the abalone. So what I'll do is bring these in. Okay, ooh, that's looking pretty. Okay, so I'm going to torch, clean up that, and I will see you for the unmolding. Alrighty, let's see how this turned out. I really like this pie shape, and look how pretty the edge is. This pie shape mold. I'll have to clean up those pieces there. Okay, so, oh my goodness, how shall I do this? Um, I guess it's like this. It's kind of pretty with the black. I, I cheated and put a black background here so that you can see it. But this is the back side. So, 
Um, okay, let me do this. I'm gonna do like this, and then turn it over. Ooh, pretty, pretty. And then like that, and then like this, and then like this. Wow, that's very pretty. It's very whisperish look. Um, so now I'm going to put this, oh, turn it over, and put it on a white background. See what that looks like. I think I prefer, yeah, I think I prefer the, the black background. It shows it up more, but I wanted you to see it's in its natural, natural glory of like no black background. So that's a pretty one, different. And I like it that I was able to use many different um, paste, you know, pa the white paste um, with a little color, uh, <clears throat> mica powder, and uh, just a colored paste. So pretty cool. I hope you like it too. Thanks for watching.